Today I'm going to talk about bosses. Think of all the bosses that you've had in all your different jobs. I know I had quite a few and there are a few that I would like to forget. Um, but if you get a good boss, then you are lucky. The field of study that I'm in is office technologies and one of the jobs that they prepare you for is being an office manager. And if you're a bo an office manager, you will most likely be someone's boss. Bosses are part of the management and they, uh, their job responsibility is to oversee the, the flow of work and make sure everything's going good. And, and they, uh, one of their jobs is to guide the employees so that they are successful, which makes the company successful and which makes you successful as a boss. I'm no spring chicken and I've had lots of different bosses. I've also been a boss and I can see some of the good qualities that I've had and some of the bad qualities that I had. Today I'm going to talk about a couple of studies and surveys that ask the question, what do you think a good boss should have? What characteristics do you think a good boss should have? And I'm also going to um, give um, suggestions on how to become a better boss. The first one I want to talk about is um, CNNMoney.com asked their readers, what do you think constitutes a good boss? And there were three things that were pretty prevalent in their answers. One of them was um, they thought that a boss should be uh, respect and appreciate their employees. They should respect what the, what the employees do. They should ex respect the employees' expertise and even respect that employees might have a different style than the boss. They need to uh, say thank you a lot and they need to publicly give credit where credit is due. And the best bosses, they said, were uh, bosses that treated their employees as humans and not just resources. They also thought that a good boss should create trust and support. They should trust the job that uh, the employees do and should trust them to be able to do that job, not micromanage. They uh, need to encourage success. And if there is anything wrong with the upper management and that employee, then the boss should uh, go to bat for that employee. Also, um, bosses should um, appreciate employees' input and feedback on their job or special projects. And they also should be consistently ethical and fair. They also... Uh, another one of the items that was prevalent is give backing and resources to the employees so that they can do their job correctly. They need to provide guidance, but give them enough leeway so that the uh, employees can take ownership of their job. When employees take ownership, then they, want, they will want to do a better job. They don't assign, the bosses don't assign blame when something goes wrong. Instead, they um, assess the situation and the performance, and then they fix the problems. They give employees enough space to showcase their talent. Um, and when something does go wrong, good bosses will give employees the benefit of the doubt. Um, another uh, study that was done by www.inc.com called boss competence and worker well-being. They showed that the single most thing that they saw in everybody's responses was that a boss should be able to go in there and do an employee's job and should be willing to go in there and do an employee's job if necessary. They said that almost everybody said that uh, it would significantly significantly increase their job satisfaction if they had a boss that would do that. So now that you know a few things of uh, what the employees think a good boss should do, here are some suggestions on uh, being a good boss and learning how to become a good boss and improving on being a good boss. 
This is from Brendan Schenecker at www.fastcompany.com. First thing is to take a communication class. All kinds of communication, email, letters, speaking, um, even body language. Um, communication is very important because when you want to tell uh, the employee what you want them to do, you need to be clear, concise, um, consistent, correct, because that avoids confusion on what exactly you want the employee to do. You also need to spend more quality time with your employees because one of the jobs that a boss does is delegate uh, tasks and the best way to delegate is to make sure that you delegate a task to an employee um, that will be able to do that task and it's a good fit. Now another thing um, is to lighten up do something fun because there's a lot of stress and could be a lot of negativity then you need to color, counterbalance that or else you will be burnt out. And if you model happiness then the employee is most likely to be happy and, and happy with their job. You want to uh, reward participation and accomplishments. You want the employees to participate in uh, input and the feedback like we had said, like I had said before. Um, you need to keep employees motivated because everyone has this intrinsic Re, they they want that that reward of being told that they did a good job and that's a good way to keep your employees motivated if you arrive 15 minutes earlier than everybody else you have a little quiet time you can get your mind set and you can be ready for the day and all the stresses that that day might bring um, integrity you need to be uh, able to show integrity which you need to be consistent and moral and upright in everything that you say and you do. If you tell them you're going to do something, then do it. You need to follow through. Um, companies need that integrity because it builds trust and reduces conflict in the worst workplace. And if you want your employees to, to uh, have integrity about their job and everything, you need to model the integrity. Another list of suggestions on how to be a good boss uh, came, comes from Kevin Dom at www.inc.com and one of the first things is be reasonable have reasonable goals give them goals that they can that, that they can attain um, you can lead not dictate you uh, lead them in such a way that the employees will take ownership which I talked about before Accentuate the positive. This is this is something that has go, gone through all of this. Is you need to be positive. Catch them at something that they are doing good and tell them thank you. You're doing this great. Um, scrutinize your own performance. A good boss doesn't think that they're infallible or they're perfect. They know that they uh, aren't perfect all the time. And if the employees see that the boss will say, hey, I did that wrong, I need to do it a better way, then they have more respect for them and they're willing to work with the boss. They invite others to solve problems, which is, like I said before, with giving input. Um, that's one of the things that people want uh, uh, the boss to do is to ask the employees for their input and feedback. Uh, they listen more than they talk because if they listen then they might learn something and they don't think that um, they're the only ones that know anything. Pick your battles. There could be lots of things that you could, you know, put up a fight about, but set your priorities and pick your battles. Be personal with your employees. Don't just treat them like they're at work and we're just going to talk work stuff. You need to be generous with the gratitude, you need to be generous with the praise, and you need to have concern for their well-being as a person. Now, good bosses are not born a lot of times, but they are made. You can become a better boss, and you can take these steps to become a better boss. 
Um, employees want bosses to be able to do the employees' jobs. They want respect. Respect is earned by giving respect. They want the employees uh, want to trust the boss, and they want clear guidelines and resources to be able to do their job correctly. To, in order to be a good boss, you need to communicate. You need to reward accomplishments. You need to offer help. You need to be positive, and you need to listen. So today, I went through what employees thought a good boss should be, and I also went through some steps to take in order to improve on being a good boss.